Hey Sterile Processing Professionals, Brandon the Sterile Guy here. And in today's video, I'm going to revisit the past the CRCST video, which was based off the eighth edition manual. And today we're going to talk about the chapters that are on and off the exam for the ninth edition manual. And I wanna thank everyone who reached out in the comments and requested this video. That's exactly how you get the videos you want to see. Please hit that subscribe button so you never miss important information that is pertinent to your career. With that last video, when I went over the chapters that were on and off the exam, that was only for the eighth edition manual. So anyone who has the ninth edition brand new manual, it is not helpful for you. That's why this video is gonna be so pertinent for your studying. So when it comes to these two manuals from HSPA, formerly Isham, some people are saying that the only reason they came out with the new ninth edition manual is because of the name change. But one thing I want you to be aware of is that the eighth edition book came out copyright in 2016. And if you think about it, what year is the latest Amy regulation? It's 2017. So this came out a year before Amy came out with the new standards. So this book is actually gonna be missing a few things from the Amy standards that this book is going to have. And with HSPA changing their test this year, I think it's this year or the start of next year, I can't remember exactly, but what the statement they've said is that it is gonna derive specifically from the ninth edition manual. So at this point, this is the time where I'm gonna say, once those new tests come out, you need to study from the ninth edition manual. The eighth edition still has a lot of great information, but depending on how well you do on that test, having the ninth edition manual can be that one little step that gets you those two or three questions that help you pass. Whereas if you study with the eighth, you might miss it by just a fraction. I do have to say, I really like the new manual though. It's very sleek, very professional looking. It's a pretty good manual. Hey, no, no. Oh man, he hates it when I cut him off. Hey guys, I just wanted to break up this regularly scheduled content to just remind you about the new website, thesteroguy.com, where you can get everything you need to study for all the certification exams. On this new website, I'm able to offer you better bundles like the 200 flash carts and the CRCST six pack where you can get it even cheaper than the original price. And I wanna remind you that if you sign up for the newsletter, you can also receive 15% off your first order. So go to the website, thesteroguy.com, sign up for that newsletter, get your 15% off, get your certification study material, and you'll be ready to pass that CRCST, CIS, CER, or CHL in no time. And now back to your regularly scheduled content. That mother Anyways. Where was I? Oh yeah, the chapters that are on the exam. Here, my friends, is a list of chapters that are on the CRCST exam from the ninth edition manual. And here is the list of chapters that are not on the CRCST exam. With the ninth edition manual, there are actually less chapters not on the exam, which is a little bit of a bummer, but that's still 105 pages you don't need to read and study for the exam. If you need help coming up with a strategy of how to study for an exam, maybe you have test anxiety, maybe you're just not great at it, watch this video. You can either click up here or first link in the description and watch the video I made on how to study to pass any exam. Also, you need to check out the website, www.thesteroguide.com and check out all the CRCST study material I have. I even have the new bundle, which is the CRCST six pack with the 200 flashcards. So you can save even more money when you purchase these items. Any topics or videos you wanna see, put them in the comments down below. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.